Hi, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black, and I just am sharing some of our new 3D dies and showing how simple and easy they are to assemble. So the first one we're going to look at is our gift card pocket, and you can see from this image the outer um, die cut is what cuts the gift card, and you can see here, and then inside of that you get tons of these awesome little pieces that you can use to embellish your gift card. They're also great on other cards or scrapbook pages. And you'll want to clip those apart. I just use an old pair of scissors um, to clip those off of the, um, from the interior of that gift card pocket die. And I'm just showing you here all the different little pieces that you get once you cut those. And the piece on the left is what will actually cut the gift card pocket. So I'll set those to the side. And again, just so you can get a good idea, I'm very visual um, and need to actually see everything. Here's what the, all those little pieces look like once they're cut out. So a lot of variety, great for embellishing, great for embellishing the gift card pocket or other pieces. This is also another one of the pieces that comes with it. And what's really great about this piece is it fits perfectly with the gift card um, cut out right over the top. So I went ahead and I just ran this through my die cutting machine with a piece of pattern paper from my um, from my stash, just my scrap pile actually. And it once it cuts, it will also score the lines to fold. And you'll see that it cuts. I'm trying to show you here the best I can the um, places where you can slide the gift card in, and it'll hold the gift card on the inside of the pocket. So once you cut it, really all you have to do is fold it and it's ready to go. There's even this little notch to hook in the top part. Of course, I'm all thumbs here <laughs> on the video, but it just slides real easily in there, just like other gift card pockets that you get at the store. And there's just so many different ways that you can decorate this and embellish it. Here you can see where that piece just fits perfectly right on top. And a nice way to personalize a gift card. You could also put this inside so when they remove the gift card, you could write a little message on the inside as well. And here's a couple of projects um, featuring this die, just some examples of how you can use it. The one on the left was designed by Pete Rovin, and she's used lots of those little pieces to layer and embellish the gift card pocket. And then on the other is one that I designed, just a little bit more simple design. Now the next 3D die cut is our pillow box die. And this is another one where you get lots of additional pieces besides the pillow box, so it's a nice value. So there's what you cut, use to cut the actual pillow box. And then it also comes with these other pieces. Just taking them out here so you can see all of those individually. And once those additional pieces are cut, here's what they look like. And those little hearts and stars are really fun. Um, if you wanted to put those in a shaker card, you could just cut it, cut several times through and have the interior pieces for your shaker card. So to show you the assembly for the pillow box, this one's really simple as well. I am terrible at putting things together and assembling them, but I can do these. <laughs> so you cut it two times, and again, like the other die, it's going to score the lines that you need to fold for the top and the bottom. And I went ahead and put on some adhesive, so I just used some really strong double-sided adhesive. And I need to peel back the back side of that adhesive to reveal um, the rest of it. And you put that along the fold on the outer edge. And I'm just going to peel that back, and I just cut this from some of our designer paper. So now that's sticky. And you just line it up along the edge of the other piece, the one that does not have the fold, and you stick that down. And then you can just make sure you're lined up. And you have your first piece done. Now I'll take the second one, I'll remove the adhesive, the back of the adhesive, so that it's sticky and then fold that other side over. And press it down. And you could stop right there with the adhesive. I like to um, go ahead and adhere one end down so that 
just to be sure that things can't fall out. If you're putting something small in here, you could put a gift card, you could put little treats. There's just lots of different things you could use this for, a little note. So I'm just um, peeling off this, just like I did with those other adhesive strips. And this is so that one side will be stuck down. But you don't have to do that. You can just close it. And I'll show you an example where the designer didn't use adhesive on this part. Those lines are scored, so it's really easy to just fold them down and have the pillow box there. And then these I wanted here. That way it's easy to get in into the inside. And there you have a really fun pillow box from die cut. You can do papers, you can ink your paper, stamp it. Here's an example by Bridget Ebloom and it's just beautiful. This is one where she used um, some twine around the edges to keep it closed. And then here's a couple more examples, one by myself. I inked my paper first and stamped it and then die cut it. And then here's another beautiful example from Pete Roven. And I will link to all of these designers blogs down in the description box if you want to check out more of their beautiful stamping. Now the final 3D set here is our bow set and you get um, a solid bow die cut and then you also get this beautiful intricate lacy one. So I cut mine just again from some scratch paper in my stash and in order to make this fold and avoid too many creases when folding it, um, I'm just going to kind of working the paper, warming it up and loosening the fibers. You could also die cut this for example from felt or even vellum and those are going to be easier to fold in on themselves without having any creases. And I'm going to use just some small little glue dots here. I actually wish I had a little bit smaller one, but I didn't have any on hand. So these worked out okay, but if you're doing this at home, um, I would recommend a really small one. You can also use liquid adhesive. You'll just need to hold it, hold it closed until that, that dries. So I'm just taking this one and I'm folding these ends into the center. And then I'll just press that onto where that glue dot is and you get your nice rounded um, three-dimensional piece. You can use a pencil or a little stylus just to curve that up and then it just popped up a little so I'm just sticking it down on that adhesive again. But that's another way to get the um, curve that you want to this portion of the bow. And now I'll take this next piece and this one I'm just going to add my glue dot to the center And then I'll layer the first piece right on the top. And then you could use this bow just as is. You don't have to add the tail, so you could just use this little piece. There you can see that dimension. But if you want to add the tails, you can. Now this also comes with this small little piece here that you can use to put over the center and wrap around to the back. But I love to put a little pearl there, so I'll just embellish mine with the pearl in the center. And now to assemble the tails, I'm just going to take another one of those glue dots and apply it to the top portion. and then stick that down. Now because you get um, the real lacy intricate die and these more solid ones, you could layer those. You could mix and match the lacy with the solid pieces um, and really do some fun things with those layers. Here's one where I created it just using the lacy intricate pieces. Again, like I said, you could layer those together as well. And then finally, here's a card where I've used one of these bows as a simple embellishment. And I actually over the centerpiece wrap that with twine and then put my pearl on top. So there's a lot of different options to personalize it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and also on our website. And I'll link to all of those in the description box below. Happy die cutting.